What is up guys, Dogger's back again with... I'm actually gonna start a road to top 10 on the pre-bank ladder. I actually never really tried to peak in any generation or on any ladder. Like, I've, I started playing competitively in X and Y. And my best was like, maybe top 100 in X and Y. I'm not really sure. And I think in Auras I was 1804 at one point. But yeah, okay. My teams are getting a bit repetitive as you can see. I always have... <laughs> the Magirna Alamomolo core to um like I don't see what else I can s use besides Magirna because top of lid is so broken so yeah I need you I need you guys I need you guys for this world of top 10 please pass me your your best teams or fun teams I mean I would prefer if they were fun and good <laughs> and actually I'm gonna show you my rank at the start and at the end of the episode as why did this guy say LMAO um I hope he's not star pawn across my cause that thing actually just six hours my team. I was testing this team out. I'm 16 and 2. I'm um, 13.47 on the ladder. I will just lead off with a star pawn across my not waste any more time. As I max defense and beat mammoths when 1v1. I'm blanking out on something. I wanted to tell you something else. Yeah, we just exchanged rocks here. Yeah, this is the third version of the team. First, I had a man the bus, which it might be better because then I don't get six old best out pawn across my. So, yeah, I will just fire off psychics here. See, he's trying to flinch me. Doesn't get the flinch. Psychic does a good amount. Oh, yeah, what I wanted to sell <laughs> to tell you guys. Um, My other account is like way higher on the ladder, but. The GXE was kind of shit because I was testing teams there and I lost 3 games to Hex also. I'm like 1600 around, 1620 ish. I was 1650 yesterday. On that account, uh, yeah, I just decided let's make a new alt and let me actually slash rank so you guys can see. It will uh, like take a bit till it will pop up. Yeah, but you guys can see there's 13, 47, 16, and 2. Yeah, okay, you guys can see it. Gen 7 are you? Um, yeah, we have sub called Zargot on this team. I didn't explain my team yet. I will attempt to go Serena and spin these heads away. As he just defogs, so okay, never mind. I don't have to. I don't have to uh, rapid spin. I can just go for Yudin here and grab momentum. I don't think he's staying in on a potential drop kick. He's going maybe Gyarados, maybe Magnuson. Okay, he goes beds. Gets some intimidate off. I assume he's the Z fly the supersonic sky fragments. So yeah, I just wanna like um, show the entire road. Um yeah it's obviously not gonna be easy. The the post bank ladder isn't like super try hardy super mega try hard but still um I'm gonna go McGee on here. Even though he could have earthquake. It's still not that easy to peak. I, I don't think peaking is easy ever easy like if you go for it on like if you get high ladder you just get so little points for winning like if you get 1800 or something like that if you if you didn't face 1600 opponents you might just get like 10 points for a win and if you lose you might lose like 30 or 40 points so it's really painful and yeah I don't see a floor can switch in honestly so I'm gonna go for that he might have off quick but we, we should eat that up yeah, I hope uh, Tapolita gets suspect tested soon so I can use some more ver va variations. I can use some other Pokemon. This, I don't really see what... I guess I could use a Solvest Muck. I've used that once or twice only on my... No, I've used it like twice on my channel, yeah. We dodge a Fire Blast. I guess I'm sorry, but... Not really, because I got hexed earlier. As you said, rip. Okay, mm. I mean that wouldn't have done much, they would have done like 38 maybe. Uh, Salvas Magina is really bulky. Maybe he was Spexman, then it would have done more, then would have done like 60 or 50-ish. But Magina eats that, trust me on that. Um, he's gonna go probably Mammoth Mine. Or, uh, yeah we actually HP ground on this Magina for a Marowak to hit that. And to hit... Uh, what is the mon called? I forgot the name. Uh, Magnezone, yeah. 
he has a Magnuson right there. And I'm just gonna vault out on this ES Earthquake, okay. That's fine. He didn't even Mega Evolve, so that did a shitload. And I can go Skarmory and start spike stacking on this guy. We are Shetchel Skarmory, obviously, because Magnuson is pretty common, especially on the pre bank ladder. And I'm not trying to get trapped out here when Ma uh, Skarmory is my. What is my Skarmory even for? Yeah, it's my Metagross answer. I also have Alma Mola. So, yeah, this team is. Um, you guys can see my teams are kind of even. Like, I've building. I already said this, I build a lot with this Alma Mola and Magirna Core. Um, I, I need some speed control on this team. I'm gonna go Hot Zygarde. He might predict that I'm Flash Can. I don't really care. He might predict me to be Shit Chill. So I'm gonna try to make this episode a bit longer. My last videos have been a bit shorter as he doubles into Mammo, predicting me to be Shit Chill to play. But he takes the spike, that's absolutely fine. Yeah, I gotta think about. Um, yeah, let's just go back to Skarm. I gotta think about what I can change. Um, I will put the, the team for you guys in the description. So you can. Um, you guys can tell me how I can improve my team if you if you see any weaknesses or I know I need like a scarf or, or some priority at least. I had Meta Mega Metagross on this team at first and and I had what is this thing called? I think I had Pheromos on this team. It hasn't been putting that work and I changed Metagross to Skarmory. But then later I added Alma Mola because what was I weak to again? Oh yeah, I had Toxapex over Alma Mola, and I was so annoyed that Magina gets whittled down and doesn't have recovery, so I wanted to wish pass her again, and I couldn't think of a good wish passer. Um, we will just go for Thousand Arrows. He gets some cheap. Oh, never mind. He just sacks his Magnetism. I thought he would go Mamo. Pretty me. Actually, yeah, he couldn't really switch there. Kills the Mamo now. Um, I can just go to M Alma Mola here. He's probably gonna go for Icicle Crash. Exactly. And I can just go for a uh, Wish here. Because he might go to Apophini. He just earthquakes me, okay. That's fine. And I'm just gonna fire off a Skull then. If he wants to sack his Mammoth Swine, go ahead, be my guest. Um, It's Wednesday, it's like 12. 41 it's like I don't know if you say how you say that that current time like in 20 minutes it's 1 p.m. But I don't know how you call 1240 ish yeah. okay he goes Fini he's either gonna taunt or default on inches madness here so I'm just gonna go into Serena but yeah this team's kind of weak to Tapu Fini actually um I fought a stall breaker Tapu Fini or like a balance break at Hebofini lost. Um, not with this version of the team, with another version. But that was a bit annoying as I'm gonna spin here. Uh, he's probably gonna default next turn because he doesn't want these spikes and I'm gonna use that as an opportunity to synthesis up. Okay, he doesn't even taunt me, I don't know what's going on. Why is he letting me heal? Um, Yeah, not having drop kick on this is a bit annoying sometimes, but I just wanted healable support for my team in case my Zygarde gets toxic. As, um, I feel like I can go to Magina here and Volt Switch. I can also go for Florican. Now, nah, Volt Switch is fine. Get that slow Volt Switch. As he's one of. Okay, he runs gold. Nah, I can just go to Crawlman spam, spam Psychic here. I don't really see myself losing is what I meant to say, but if he's start pawn across him I can still lose. I think it's a huge, huge threat. I'm just gonna go Zygarde. I kinda wanna make this a Zygarde showcase. Oh, he's that autonomous set. I actually built with the set yesterday. Um, what I run on my and the Crosma. Autonomous and the Crosma. Okay, that's like he did nothing. Is uh, HP Fire Earthquake. Autonomize a rock polish and um, 
What's the other move called? I forgot. I forgot what the other move is called. Psychic, obviously. <laughs> Psychic stab, yeah, of course. And yeah, I'm just gonna e speed. Never mind, yeah. We get the roll there, nice. So, yeah, yesterday I recorded. I don't know if it was yesterday. But the last video I uploaded was recorded with um, OBS and I noticed that the microphone didn't get picked up that well, it was like really low. Um, so I got I went back to Camtasia. As we cannot pick him off because I got it weak, but the Amumas doesn't even kill. So we actually get the 6 0 which is pretty nice. We are 17 and 2. Now I am gonna pause and be right back. Okay, let's protect, so we prolong it for no reason there. <laughs> yeah, I guess we can start searching for another one. Yeah, let me, let me. Actually, we get the. Oh god, I got two games at the same time. Uh, let me actually pause and win one first, or be play one first. So, yeah, this is a bit annoying. I might have to play two battles at the same time. I hope this is fine for you guys. Um, God and across my always fear them being, I um, always fear them being freaking uh, stored power. I feel like I can lead with Zygar here. It matches up well versus the Coco and versus the what's this thing called? The other thing, Marowak. He just leaves with scissor. I can call and see how he reacts to this. Uh, he might be SD though, so... That wasn't the smartest. Okay, just you chance. This other guy hasn't... Okay, he just started the timer on me. I thought I hadn't... I thought he hadn't picked him. Yeah, this is actually a Chimpax team. With Specs or Ikorio, I guess. I have this team on 3S on Wi-Fi. Oh yeah, um, I have been putting teams in the description in my last few videos. Not every time, but like a few times. And um, that just leading across my again. <laughs> what was I about to say? This guy went sell a stealer. I don't know why. I can sub on this, right? If he tries to leech seed. Yeah, I don't know what this guy's doing. And now I can start firing off thousand arrows. I mean, we're not uh, not that high on the ladder, but what are you doing, for, dude? Like, like. I actually like I got games on point before I started the video, so this doesn't so we don't get like super really bad opponents or super unexperienced opponents as I'm gonna be turning here. Yeah, I cannot even touch this, but people don't expect this. Like, they he doesn't know my set obviously, so I scare him out. And I think this is Z morning sun, Z lowest. I don't actually know what these moves do. Mm, I don't know the ex entire moves that maybe I should pause it and look it up. No, that would be scum. I think Almola was him. Uh, I can go Almola, I can go for either Toxic or Scald. Toxic should be fine. Now Misty Terrain is up. I'm gonna go for Scald. I hope this... Okay, it doesn't really matter. It's not gonna do any damage. I say, let's just go for Protect. We actually take out the table Lily, which is amazing. I mean... Table Coco probably doesn't even kill Zygarde from that percentage. Do I need Zyga this game? I don't really need Zyga, so I'm gonna. As he over predicts there. Says GG. So yeah, that was a fast game. So we can go over to the other one. Holy cow. <laughs> okay, it's taunt obviously, but yeah, that's fine. If I can wish here. Yeah, see, and now I can. Try to scald, burn him, cruise the terrain, and that. Which is exactly what I was waiting for. Hopefully we can get the Skull Burn. Okay, amazing. <laughs> I love how this is working. And I can Skull once more here. As he gets his protector, it doesn't really matter. And I can go into this arena here. Um, yeah, the, the burn is nerfed, so it only cancels out his leftovers, but it's still pretty nice and I will attempt to U-turn out again. Um yeah I actually need some like I need Rockstar or something this is taking We're not making any progress here. Okay Auricorio comes out as this ghost and flying. 
I uh, should be pretty fine to go on a McGear here and click Volt Switch or Floor Cannon. Now, I don't see his Floor Cannon switching. Since we are Assault Vest, I don't fear anything that he can do to me. And his Floor Cannon resist is Arcanine. His other resist is. What's this thing called? Nihiligo. That's yes, okay, that's probably AV. Uh, not necessarily. It ate it up, but yeah, I'm just gonna flirk, flash cannon as he disconnected. Okay, interesting. So, um, I'm gonna pause it, and if he comes back, I will show you, and if not, I will grab another game. Okay, I actually already got another game, and then the guy came back. Flash cannon doing 38 only to Nihiligo, because he is. Um, because I'm at minus 2, we got a Volt Switch crit there. He might be HP eyes in the Heligo. Do I need the Zygarde healthy for anything? I don't think I do. So yeah, I can just go Zygarde here and... Actually, I could have gone to freaking... Oh yeah, Grassy Terrain is up. I didn't think there. I could have gone to... On the Crossman there and get my rocks up or Psychic. That would have... Yeah, getting my rocks would have been fine. He just goes to Abufini. Completely fine, completely fine. Um... You can predict my Serena here if he wants to, but I'm still gonna make the Serena play. I don't really care if it's obvious or anything. He just Moonblast, I can spin here. Let me check this other game. And my opponent's rank would be nice to know too. Let me actually check it in the lobby. You guys don't see that I'm in the lobby. Okay, he's 1404 and... He has a Smeagol, so Smeagol has a lead probably. Hmm. Just gonna lead me across my eye. And um, fire off psychics with his dad. As this guy went, Orikori and spin blocked me. I didn't think about that. Well played, sir. Well played. As a Solvus Nagirna should um, be a fine switch in. As that actually does 31%. Okay. Damage is damage is damage, but he still doesn't have a flow can switch in. And as he goes Nihiligo, um, yeah, when Nihiligo is the Magirna counter, <laughs> I did a flash can, that's my fault. But yeah, we're still gonna flash can here as he pivots, pretty pretty nice play for him. Pretty nice playing from him as we're gonna Psychic in case he taunts the guy's ass, it doesn't taunt, I could've gotten a rocks up. Uh, just gonna go Alamomola here, as he goes Nihiligo, what did that double accomplish? Oh, he probably has T-Bolt. Let me protect. No, I should live with T-Bolt. Yeah, I don't care, I should live with T-Bolt. Did I protect? Still gave me lefty, so it's fine, yeah. We have 5th death Alamomola on this team for... Uh, switching into Marowak. As a Cor Ori Corio comes out, I can protect. See what he locks himself into as this guy goes into Marowak. Um... I have Alamo Molar, so I'm gonna go into it and we see what he could do. He could be Wisp. Okay, Shadow on any crits, any defense drops. Okay, this game sucks. Gets the crit and the defense drop. That sucks a lot, a lot, a lot. Um, Alamo Molar is nice for the Arc 9. What do I not need this game? Um,. I'm still gonna go McGear now, I can switch. Actually, I get 2 kill from this guy. I do get 2 kill. that was a misplay then. Should've sacked my scum or something else. That defense drop, dude. I have to sack something. I guess I'm gonna set my necrozma. This game is so painful sometimes, man. I don't see what I could have done differently. Yes. Back into Alamomoro, Swap so Wish. As he two kills me here and. Yeah, I played that so badly, like what am I, what, what was I thinking there? Do I just lose this game here? 
Why the heck did I say my Magir? No, I should say something else. But Magir is literally pretty good with this him. At least we chip away at him. Tapu Bulu coming out. Let's go Serena. He actually should have cut. Would him out at 80. Okay, we hit that up and we can U turn here on his Marex, which I almost tried to spin. The guy is so bad. I could have spun. This guy's ass. Why would you let me get the spin off? Dude. I cannot play ladder people. These people are so bad. Why would you ever? Why? Why did you stay in? I could have gotten spikes. Oh, this hurts my brain so much. How? How do I lose to these? As he goes, already Corey again. Holy cow! I'm getting played. I'm getting played like shirts. Okay, we dodge skillfully. Just kidding. That was that sucks. Back into Zygarde and Southern Arrows again. Holy cow, this game, dude. Can we not get hexed to death, please? I'm gonna stop complaining. Don't burn me, dude. <coughs> Thank you. I can wish up again. I can still win this game, but... Why would he ever give me the spin there? I didn't understand. I can go into AV Magirna. On his chapel lily. Like he can literally double around and annoy me cause just cause he got that freaking um, the freaking whatchamacallit. He got all hazards up so he could double around but he's not pressuring me pressuring me too too much. Okay this game was already over He goes Tabu Bulu. Mm. I can just go Skarmory here. If he doesn't pull a double in Arcanine, I'm fine. As he does pull a double, this guy's mm, playing me like shirts as he disconnected for some reason. I think that's the second time. I think it's just his connection. And this guy's taking his sweet ass time. So I guess I'm gonna pause it for both guys. Because they are not moving. This is boring. Let me actually close the lobby. This guy came back and what did he do? He just wisp and he missed. Okay, he missed. That sucks for him. I'm just gonna wish up if he misses again. I'm sorry. And I'm just gonna scold. He disconnects again. Did he? Is this his connection? Because I think he disconnected some time. The other guy still hasn't picked the move. I'm gonna pause it again. Like, to be completely honest, I think this guy's just timing out. He got like 20 seconds left. Yeah. I'm gonna just grab another one. So yeah, this one guy lost to inactivity. We hit the 1400. And we got another one. Boy, this is some weird looking balanced fat team. Two toxic type. Two poison types. No, three poison types. What the heck is this team? Um, Maybe Magana does a lot versus his team, but yeah, I'm still gonna leave him across my, my rocker. Mug is annoying, but I love Skarmory for the reason that it cannot be poisoned by Mug. Thankfully, he doesn't have a Magnezone. Yeah, I'm just gonna throw up a spike here. What is about this other guy? I think he had enough after he missed two Will O Wisps. I'm sorry, dude. Or maybe his internet just dropped. Yeah, I actually didn't play to World War II. And I dodged Hurricane earlier with Oricori, I got really lucky. Like, I just had enough. <laughs> I misplayed and then I <laughs> had enough, I got mad. I said I'm going for dodge, <laughs> and I dodged. <clears throat> so yeah, he goes for Flabbit and gets the burn. This is like, look at this. This guy goes for Will of twice and doesn't burn me, and this guy goes for Flabbit Flabbit and burns me. Yeah, you can just see he has no time left. Three times out. Okay. We get <clears throat> some juicy points for that. We can literally throw up a toxic. He should go into his rose red. Yeah, I wasn't sure if he would go into his rose red. And I'm gonna go Magina on this. That was pretty obvious, but scalding wouldn't done do anything for me because 
Most road rates carry natural cure anyway. As I was about to say, it could be T spike, but he's exactly a spike. I still don't see his answer for this. He only has Porygon for this. And Arcanine, but. Hmm. Arcanine is gonna take a decent chuck. Never mind, I miss. God, Pokemon. Back into Albumola. We both have a spike up. Uh, the spike is a bit annoying for me. I'm gonna throw up a wish this time. So yeah, I think Zygarde can win me this game, but I have to get rid of the Porygon first. I'm gonna try to go Zygarde on this road rate. <clears throat> I don't think he has... Yeah, he might have Toxic Spikes, but he didn't get up T-Spikes yet. Uh, I'm gonna attempt to sub on this as... I run some speed on this Zygarde. I guess he might be Ice Beam Slowbro, so... If he's Ice Beam Slowbro, this is... Not gonna work out, but I'm gonna try to set up all over this. It's probably not gonna work. You got Ice Beam. Oh, good god, this is annoying. I don't really see how I can break this team at the moment. Really annoying, back into Alamomola we go. And I'm gonna go for Wishy. He cannot stay in here. He shouldn't stay in, because if I toxic him, he's in a bad position. Uh, yeah, exactly. He goes to Roserade. I guess he could have Aromatherapy on this. I think it learns Aromatherapy. Uh, so I'm gonna pass into Skarmory. There's no way he goes for HP Fire this particular turn. So he just throws up spikes. I will go for Brave Bird in case he stays in. Like, if he tries to HP Fire me, I'm gonna punish him and Brave Bird him. Because uh, Roserade has really bad defense. He goes in this uh, Arcanine. Hmm. I shouldn't have let him get up all these hazards because now if he double switches around he can actually pressure me. Um yeah this team was like really hazard stacking at first. I got rocks. Okay, he makes a double switch, that's fine. I had like rocks on I mean, I still have rocks on the cross now, but I also had T-Spikes on this team with Toxapex. Might just use that version for the next battle, but oof, uh, I'm not playing too well. Go for Leech Seed, so probably a Sludge Bomb on the Giga Rain then. I don't think he has space to run. Um, yes, we get him another Spike. I don't think he can afford to run HP Fire on his road right then. You need to stab on that. Yeah, it would be lovely if this guy would make his move like a little bit faster. Mm, let's see how I can win this game. Mm. This team needs some work for sure. Like, I have some solid teams post bang, but pre bang is. Um. My dude, it's T Bras trying to get a road uh, rank. Trying to reach rank. I don't know if he was wanted to do road to top 100. I think he wanted to do road to top 10 in OU. Both men. So yeah, I'm gonna try to help him a bit. Or my friends are gonna try to help him. Um, I don't know if I'm good enough to make top 10 post bank. We're gonna try for for sure. Um, if you guys want me to record that, leave a comment down below, and I'm gonna hit my dude up. I'm gonna cross my here and get up my rocks just to pressure him. He goes into slow bro. Hmm. My Momolo is getting riddled though. I have regen but the spikes can't let out the, the amount of health, like the amount that I heal. Yeah, let me know for sure if you want me to do road to top 10 with my dude and if you want like, if you want multiple people on the call or just two people. Um, Mark is out. Let's go back into Skarmory. Skarmory doesn't take uh, spikes, which is always great. I can whirlwind here because he should go into Arcanine, right? And I get all the juicy hazard damage on that. He goes Crobat, okay. We still get juicy hazard damage. And we can roost here as long as he's not HP fire, which he shouldn't be. If he's HP fire, this might. 
put me in a bad position, but he's not. He brings Porygon. <clears throat> Gets a special attack move, which is really scary. Because, um... Ice Beam does a lot now. I'm gonna call how much Ice Beam does to Serena. Yeah, Ice Beam to it KOs my Serena. I cannot switch into that. This is bad. Hmm. I guess I'm gonna just get out my spike here. And uh, he goes for T-Bolt, which I don't agree with, but it works for him and I'm gonna just have to spin his hazards away. <clears throat> I could have switched into Serena on the T-Bolt, but I think that this is way too much, so it wasn't worth it. I basically had to sack something there. Oh god, he probably has Defog on his Crobat, right? So he's gonna get rid of all my spikes. Oh god. Why didn't I go to freaking... Yeah, he has Defog. <clears throat> I'm gonna double into Magira here, even though he might have U-turn. Yeah, yes, you turn rip. Never mind, you lose. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, this is good. I can vote switch here. But I lost my spikes, which is really bad. And my scum, we cannot set them back because it's dead. Okay, vault switch on a Roserade. <clears throat> and I'm just gonna go on a Crossmon fire of a psychic. Nah, I'm gonna get my rocks back. What am I saying? He can go muck. That's no reason the psychic as long as the mug is around. Okay, this is a bit long. This battle's drawn out. I think we already won four games. One <laughs> one game I lucked my dude, my opponent. <clears throat> okay, concentrate more. But I don't think Like yeah I didn't play optimal, but okay the guy goes for the poison. Luckily he doesn't get it. Um, oh yeah, I lost my... I just realized I lost... I needed my Skarmory for the, uh, for the muck. I'm gonna predict the muck here and double out into Magina. And I'm gonna fire off uh, Floor Cannon or HP Ground. Yeah, HP Ground seems good because it also hits the Arcanine. That, that, that did nothing. That did jack shit. Um, yeah, let me go for Floor Cannon. Um, maybe Volt Switch is better, you shouldn't stay in here. Yeah, I'm Volt Switching. If he stays in, I'm, I still have my uh, Alma Mola to go out into. Worst case scenario, even though I wouldn't prefer to go. Yeah, I'm Volt Switching for sure. I hope the cancel button works. Let me pause it for him. So, surprisingly, he stays in for some odd reason. I don't get this guy. But there's no way you double knock off here, right? I'm gonna go. He double knocks off. That's such a bad play, what? Like, did he predict me? Why would he knock off a Magirna that's already knocked off? That doesn't make any sense. Like, I 2 KO you, why, why would you just sack this when you have switch in the bag? Like, you can say I got predicted, but uh, I just don't like how the guy played that. Yes, we go into Magirna on the Rose Raid and fire off. Yeah, we can just flash can this. He goes for Leech Seed. Okay, that's annoying. I'm gonna Volt out. Man, now we can get up Hazards again. This is so annoying. Volt out into Zygarde. I don't know why he would ever go for Giga Drain there. Over setting up a spike. But yeah, I'm gonna go Zygarde here and just click. Um, Six thousand arrows, because as long as the slow brew is around, there's no point in setting up. Like I kind of want to double switch making the slow brew here, double into Magirna or double into Serena, but this guy uh, is making some wild plays, so I'm not trying to make doubles on him. So we can go to cross my here. Nah, Alamomola. We can go Alamomola and. The thing is I have to double switch every time on his annoying rosary, but this is so annoying. This guy's taking five million ages, I have to pause it again. Okay, never mind. Goes for Ice Beam and Double engine across my here is fine on the freaking Roserade, yeah. I think I'm gonna psychic this time, cause last 
his mark is getting lower and lower and it cannot switch in off Ninja Rocks, which is also why I didn't understand his play earlier with double knocking off when he needs his mark. Oh, like, this guy's weird. He needs his mark for the psychic immunity. Okay, I guess Slowbo works fine for him. So I can go Serena here. He might Ice Beam. We should eat that up anyways. Okay, he goes for that. And I'm just gonna... U-turn because momentum is important. I cannot let his Rose Rate come in. Okay, Crobat. As I will take this opportunity to go into the Crossman and fire the Psychic once again. Like I said, Mug is low. Mug cannot switch in often, but yeah, this is... I hope this is not getting too boring for you guys, because this battle is like taking long. Um, yeah, I'm gonna have to. Should have predicted him there. Wait, wait, wait I didn't mean to click Alamomola. Now he's gonna go Rose Red again, so back to the cross, now we go. Yeah, okay. I'm doing a decent job at least at whittling him down, but I'm not trying to predict the slope or this turn. I think I'm just gonna psychic. He might st yeah, exactly. I was about to say he might stay in eventually. Predict him in a double. Catch him there. I want to double really badly because he's not gonna sack this, right? I don't trust this guy, he might sack it. I'm not trying to lose a game in my uh, first road to top. Road to the top episode. And yeah, we catch him there. He sacks his rose rate. I don't really agree with that play. Muck doesn't get pursued pre bank, to my knowledge at least. So I should be fine to go on the Alamomola here, escape him. And he knocks off, and I can throw. Up a wish, yeah. Him losing Rose Red and not having spikes up is just super good. And I'm gonna end it at that. We did pretty well. We are in the 1450s. And rank is 21 and 2, pretty decent. Um let me actually pause and show you guys the rank. So yeah, here we are guys. Um I just joined some random battle to show you my rank here. Flubberidge, uh, Gen 7 Oyo, 1450, 79 Jixi. 21 wins, 2 losses, so yeah, we went 5 or 6 on this episode, okay, I didn't deserve to go uh, positive, like, okay, I deserve to go positive, but I didn't deserve the one win where I hacked, um, yeah, please, um, suggest me teams and a paste bin either in the comments or on Skype or Discord on my Smogon wall, and other than that, I thank you guys so much for watching, um, Hit that thumbs up button if you want the series to continue. And yeah, let me know about the other road to top 10 that I told you about for the uh, postbank letter. And I wish you guys a fantastic day. Thank you so much for watching. Dokuch signing out. Peace.